My name is Daniel Joseph. I've been in Hillcrest for 13 years and I'm a senior in high school. Uh, I believe when I was four years old, I fell off a six feet hill and I landed on my skull. And my skull cracked and I started bleeding out and my brother was just eight, so he didn't really know what to do. So he rushed me back home and my mom was also kind of crying because she was scared that she would lose her youngest son. So she rushed me to the hospital and the doctors did what they were able to do. And by the end of the day, I didn't even need to stay a night at the hospital. And he said it was a miracle because cracking your skull is already very fatal. And then to a child at four is like, almost a death sentence. So the fact that I survived and I didn't need to stay in that at the hospital was a miracle. So that just proved that God was real, sorry. In the Bible, in Hebrews 11, 1, I believe it says, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. So I believe faith is like belief in God that, okay, this is done. He says that it will be done. So it will be done. It is already as good as done. There's no need to worry about it regardless of the circumstances you might be in, or if it looks like that thing is not going to happen, it will happen. It's not really an issue because I basically built myself into the routine of, okay, when I wake up, I have my devotion with my family. And then sometimes I have my personal devotion if I have excess time. And my Christian faith is basically part of my daily living because I do a lot of worship team, even here at Hillcrest Chapel and also at my local church when I go there. So I'm always in some way or one way or another, I'm always doing something that has to do with Christ. So it's not really something I see as, okay, I'm trying to incorporate it into my day. It's just part of who I am. So there was a sermon I listened to and the sermon basically said that for there to be a creation, there must be a creator. That was kind of when I was deliberating on whether or not God was real. And, and that just awakened, I was like, okay, this is solid proof because for something to occur, something has to cause it to occur. And you can't just have that infinitely. There has to be a starting point from which all things culminate from. So I figured even if that was, I don't know, the Muslim God, the Christian God, the Buddhist God, it had to be some kind of God. And later on, a few weeks after that, I believe I was playing games with my friends and I just heard God say, humble yourself before the Lord and he'll lift you up. I was like, okay, I think that's from the Bible. So let me go and check it out, the exact verse. And it was in 1 Peter 1, 5, I believe. It's there. And it said, humble yourself before the Lord and lift you up. So I was like, okay. I didn't know that verse. I've never read 1 Peter, seriously. So the fact that I heard that very clearly meant that had to be God because it was from his word and that's how he speaks to me. The Bible also says that whatever your hands find to do, you have to do it well. And recently I've been battling with a lot of laziness, especially in classes like calculus, because it is exerting when you want to just hang out with your friends and talk, and like play games and just relax, whether you have calculus work to do and you have the assignments. And instead of just guessing through everything on college board, you have to go through everything and um, so that is very stressful because I know some, somehow somehow I still pass the test so the fact that I basically am forced to do that because of what God said whatever your hands find to do you have to do it with all of your heart as if walking onto God and onto man is kind of difficult and I shake yeah. in Daniel 1.8 um, the verse says and Daniel made up his mind not to defile himself and that just shows the principle that Daniel had. Like he had the opportunity to like just let loose, eat meat, drink wine, do whatever he wanted. He was basically guaranteed riches. He was also very smart. So, and there were no Israelites to really tell him, okay, no, you can't do this because one, he was in a position of power and two, they were in exile. So they had better things to worry about, but still, he still loyal to God, which just shows the principles that he had even away from home while nobody was watching. It also highlights his integrity. So principles and integrity. It's the first Peter 1, 5, I believe. And the one I talked about earlier about humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. 
and that is my favorite bible verse because it's the one that god told me and it also resonates every in every aspect of my life because i have had opportunities where i could have just said okay i'm this and so i don't have to obey these rules or just because my dad is this i don't have to obey certain rules in this school but i just said okay let me just humble myself and obey what the rules have told us to do and yeah it's also led me to places i didn't think i would go to because people are like oh, boy you are this you are this you do all of these things your dad is even this so why aren't you doing this i'm like there's no need to i'm just a regular person used by god i'm pretty confident i know for a fact that god is real and though obviously my journey is still a bit off sometimes but i still go back to him and i try my best to stay on the path of good and on the path that he's told me to do and yeah also knowing my life purpose is also very helpful because i'm not lost and i know exactly what i need to do in this life so yes i am pretty confident stay true to yourself there will be many times that you will think of derailing and just i don't know wanting to prove yourself to your friends in some way or another or not feeling like you belong um, just stay true to yourself if you do that much at least you'll get out of here in one piece Thank you.